Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a survey with counterbalancing. This is not difficult to do. Uh, so first of all, you need to go create new survey. Now for this tutorial, I assume that you know how to make a new survey, but I'll just take you through it quickly. But the focus here is on counterbalancing. Uh, first you, you give a name, now I call this uh, CB for example for counterbalancing and as you know when you create a new survey you get some example questions and then you can go down now also on the on the right I have this uh, this um, this panel here that quickly gets me through this uh, website that's helpful but right now we first work on the code and then after that, I'm going to show you in the uh, optional survey completion criteria how to set counterbalancing and how to use that. But let's assume we have a survey in which we first, just like in any survey, we ask a few demographic questions. So we have an L colon, that means label. So we have a question called age. We have a text line and we ask the question how old are you say we all have that for all participants and also maybe we ask people about their gender and uh, we give people uh, so in this question so what I do here so the lay the question is called gender that's the label type radio in which basically multiple choice question and the question is what is your gender and then people can choose out of three options male female and and maybe uh, prefer to self describe you want to be inclusive in your surveys so you need to make sure that everybody can choose an answer that's very important now in this survey with counterbalancing we have four conditions that's just that just that I chose as it can be 10 it can be anything of course it can be two but let's take four conditions and let's do something four conditions in which we ask people a different question in each of the four conditions we ask a different question say label here l colon condition one uh say our question uh, uh that's um say a, a, a radio question and the question is uh say for example we give a cue uh it is a beautiful day so if you if people read that maybe they feel happy and then the question is how do you feel right now and then the options here so that people can choose from are say happy uh not happy let that say that it's a very simple uh questionnaire i keep it simple because i'm trying to explain the counterbalancing in reality maybe you would not you would have more options here now let's make four different conditions uh and i'm, I'm going to copy and then paste so condition two is it is say a rainy day how do you feel right now condition three is it is a cold day how do you feel now and condition four is it is a warm day how do you feel right now and what i want is in total i want that 100 people do my questionnaire i want that 25 people do this question another 25 do this question yet another 25 to this and another 25 to that so <clears throat> uh, so I have four conditions now I will for this I will use a special variable and I need to jump to one of these conditions based on that so I have here a so-called a label uh, I call this my jump and it is a jump uh, question that's basically a control item that uh, participants do not really see but so basically, side so toolkit goes down, and then here um, we have conditions. So if psi group, so psi group, so dollar sign psi group, that is a variable that will be set by side toolkit if you use counterbalancing. If psi group equals one, now make sure you have spaces between these. That's usually that's uh, what's needed. Then go to condition. One. So if side toolkit says, you know, every time for every different participant, uh, a participant is assigned to uh, a value for psi group. If there are four groups, then side toolkit randomly assigns people one, two, three, four, but it also takes into account how many people already have been assigned to that specific group. 
Now let's uh, say control C, control V. So control. So if group two, then condition two. If it's group three, then uh, condition three. And if it's group uh, four, it's condition four. And um, so I need to type it here as well. So that is now ready. So the and that's basically this, this here, this specific uh, item here in my questionnaire is the main thing. I will show you further how I can say that it is 100 participants and 25 in each group, that you do that outside the code. But uh, one thing that is important to know, so for example, if people are in group one and then they go to, they do this question, at the end of that question, you need to then you make sure that people do that side toolkit does not continue here so you need to have a jump at the end you can go to another question or you can go to the end of the survey which we do in this uh, example so we have so when people have done this item this question then the survey ends and same if people would have gone to condition two then after that the questionnaire goes to the end and same for this one make sure that I always keep empty lines between different questions after condition four of course I don't need that if people if Saitulka takes you here then that is the final question so you don't need to jump to the end I save this and then I go to compile and if I compile that you see success that's great uh, and now it says the survey is not online so you need to make it online and then you change the survey status and you get your code by the way did you know that you can go it's quite nice you can get a QR code if you want to make a poster uh, and you want to that people can scan it <coughs> uh, now really important how many participants did I say a hundred in total so you need to say that if you do counterbalancing and then we have 25 in each of the four conditions. So then you type 25, 25, 25, 25. So if I type that here, 25, 25, 25. Now I have typed it before inside Firefox so that it remembers me that I have entered that before. But so 425, so it's very important. Read the help, click on the green uh, question marks to also get some extra help if you need that. Um, this, uh is something you can choose so at what moment does site toolkit stop assigning people to a certain group that can be at the beginning or at the end of the survey if lots of people start the survey at the same time site toolkit does not know whether the group is already full say but it already has 25 people in that group because people are still working on it but if you if you set the counterbalance counter for site toolkit at the start of the survey, then it will just uh, already take that into account. It says, okay, already 25 people have started in group one. Then I go to group three, for example, and then I change online settings. Uh, by the way, so every participant gets a random choice from one to four, right? It's not that it starts with group one and then does group two, group three through four. It actually always randomly chooses and it keeps track of how many people have done it have been in each group. If you want to know more about this, also read the help. It explains that uh, in more detail. For, for this example, it doesn't really matter for this example. Typically, you will probably be safe either way, unless you do something like in a classroom where everybody starts at the same time. If you do that, I would recommend that to set it at the start of the survey, but otherwise you can do it at the co on completion. Okay, change online settings, so save it. Now I, uh, go back to compile I compile it and now uh, there are lots of things I have not designed like the welcome screen I'm, I'm going to ignore those things for the time being because it doesn't really matter uh, normally you have a welcome screen for the time being maybe I switch it off for testing uh, because well I mean I could have it but it you know okay let, let me sw switch it off for the time being because I want to show you what the survey looks like. If I start the survey, it will start to say, let's say I'm a hundred, I'm not a hundred, but let's just for testing it's And then you have these questions. It says, it's a cold day. How do you feel right now? Say, I feel happy. And then that's the end. But then if I do the survey another time, it, um, you know, like you, uh, 
start and that says it has it is a warm day how do you feel right now so you every time you would get a different one until every group has 25 in them and the survey stops when there are 100 people in total now i should say there are situations where you do not necessarily get 25 exactly in each group and that is exactly because of something that is uh, because multiple people can do the survey at the same time say for example that uh, uh, for some reason some people do not complete the, the survey but you set the counterbalance on, com on on start of the survey and then uh, so so this actually is this looks for survey completion but sometimes you have people who do not complete the survey so that there, there can sometimes maybe uh, I have not really tested that carefully there might be conditions where site toolkit can impossibly know for example how many people already finished while others still working on it uh, so you need to keep track of it how many people you have in the end but it should be pretty close uh, and it can be it, it can be perfect depending on uh, unless you have some very specific conditions under which you run the survey um, I hope this is helpful if you have questions leave a comment below the video and uh, please also like and subscribe to this channel we regularly post uh, useful tutorials thank you for watching